In this video, I will show you how you can integrate Firebase in your Flutter project using Firebase CLI. Firebase CLI is a set of tools that helps in deploying, managing and configuring various Firebase features and services directly from the terminal. With this, we can integrate all platforms of Flutter like Android, iOS and Web with Firebase at once with some commands on terminal. I have already created a new Flutter project named Flutter Firebase CLI. After creating this project, we will integrate it with Firebase using Firebase CLI. Now let's go to our Firebase console and let's create a new project named Firebase Setup. This is the overview page of our Firebase project. Let's click on this Flutter icon to integrate integrate our whole Flutter project with Firebase. Here the first step is to install the Firebase CLI and login using Firebase login command. I am assuming that you have already installed the Flutter SDK and created the Flutter project as well. To install Firebase CLI in our operating system, we have to install Node.js for all operating systems like Windows, Mac OS and Linux. We want to use npm option to install Node.js. Install Node.js by clicking here. It will take us to Node.js website. Click on LTS version and download will start according to the operating system we are using. To verify Node installation, run Node-V command in the terminal. Here this command is printing the version number of Node which means Node is successfully installed. Then install the Firebase CLI via npm. Run npm install -g Firebase tools command in any terminal. This command is same for Windows, Mac OS or Linux users. I have used sudo in Mac terminal before the command to run this command as admin. It will take some time according to our internet speed to download Firebase and then install it. It enables the globally available Firebase tools. To verify Firebase CLI installation, run Firebase minus version command. It is showing 12.9.1. Next, login and test the Firebase CLI. So, log into Firebase using your Google account by running Firebase login command in the terminal. It is asking to allow Firebase to collect CLI and emulator usage and error reporting information. You can write Y or N according to your own choice. I am writing N and then press enter. It will take us to our relative web browser. For me, it is Chrome. Select your Google account for Firebase and then click on the allow button to allow Firebase CLI to access our account. And now it is saying Firebase login is successful. Back to our terminal, we are successfully logged in. Next, copy the first command dot pub global activate flutterfire CLI and run this command in the terminal. Then copy the second command flutterfire configure with project ID and also run this command in the terminal. It is asking which platforms should your configuration support. Use arrow keys to move up or down and space key to select. We want to configure our Flutter project for Android, iOS and web. So select these and then press enter. It is registering our Android, iOS and web app with Firebase. It will take some time. Here you can see it has generated a file named Firebase options dot dot file in lib folder. It has also generated a JSON for Android and also for iOS. Firebase options dot dot file requires a Firebase core package. Let's add this package by running flutter pub add firebase core command in the terminal. In console click on next button and here it is asking us to import firebase core package and firebase options file in main dot dot file to initialize firebase in our flutter app. So open here main dot dot file and initialize firebase in our flutter app and also write this code to initialize widgets binding. Also import Firebase core package and Firebase options file. Now click on continue to console button and here you can see three apps Android, iOS and web. These apps are connected successfully with our Flutter project. For more insightful content like this, your support means a lot. See you in the next video. Thank you.